address, handshake, look you in the eyes. I love it. I love that stuff. And I think people really right away gravitate towards that personality. And you sit down and the guy's locked in and he's focused. And then you watch him play and, yeah, all these kids have some sort of deficiencies and this, the skating will be the thing. But he knows that. He's going to address that. And he's going to improve in that area. I love, I love betting on, on character guys. I love betting on character guys. He's a character right, guy. Buddy. Right away, you can tell. And um, it's going to be pretty cool to see where he ends up because, again, in this draft, once you get past three, if you have the appetite to fill that need, to have a big power forward type seconds. of guy who's got probably more. has yet to still develop the physical breathe. side of this game, that's an area that could probably improve for him as well. But once you realize how strong he is, I'm breathing for him. that's going to come too. It's interesting as well because, you know, the knock for Rasmussen has been the skating, as you mentioned. You mentioned he's working on that's something that players can overcome. And that's a skill you can improve on. See Tavares, comma, John with the New York Islanders and all the talk about him coming out of the Oshawa Gen organization uh, in the OHL coming out of minor hockey that before awesome. that with the Marlies. But you look at Michael Rasmussen and you say to yourself, yeah, he's a prototypical power forward, but the skating really isn't there right now. I don't know, Sam. I, we saw him at the top prospects game in Quebec City. He got around the ice just fine for me. You know, was he Nikolai Ehlers? Well, no, he yeah. didn't have speed to burn, but it wasn't as if he was lagging behind the play. It's just that I suppose skating is at a certain level right now that unless you hit that speed threshold, yeah. you're considered a quote-unquote poor skater. No, it's, it's, it's pretty sick. Even when you watch... Stanley Cup. I mean, how fast is the game? And and you go back to okay, let's go back to the Chicago Cup winning teams. Oh yeah, speedy, really fast. Then you go to the yeah. LA teams, all big, grinding, physical, bruising yeah, teams. They're they're south, they're south. Yeah. Then you go, and then you go to Pittsburgh, like last year. Oh my gosh, you know they skated circles around San Jose, and and it was so fast, and so on and so forth. It was a real uh, dichotomy between Eastern Conference and Western Conference hockey, so on and so forth. You always hear it's a copycat league. Mm -hmm. Speed is always going to play. Speed is always going to play. And it doesn't matter Eastern Conference, Western Conference, where you are. Speed is always, always going to play. But you have to have other things on top of it. So when Michael gets his skating to a level where he can play in the National Hockey League, you know there's going to be a lot of things that are already taken care of, including the ability to score goals. Such a tough one with a wrist injury, especially for a shot. Yeah, you can hear it in his voice how disappointed. I mean, we, and we spoke a couple of days ago to Yusuf Alamaki of the Tri-C 